ever wondered how games like Pokemon Go, Ingress and other geolocation games are made? Well, the challenging part is getting the real world location data. Today, we are going to check out Mapbox. Mapbox provides real world maps, geocoding and many other features. Lucky for us, they also provide a Unity SDK. Let's look into how to use them to craft immersive location based games. To get started, first let's set up Mapbox. Head over to mapbox.com and click on get started. Enter your details and click on create account. After that, you'll have to enter your card details, but don't worry, the SDK is free as long as the usage is under free tier. After entering your payment details, you'll receive a confirmation email to activate your account. On clicking that, you'll be redirected to the dashboard. On the dashboard, you will have an option to create a new access token or use the default one. For this example, we are using the default public token, so copy that. Now the final step is to download the Unity SDK. Let's go to Unity and create a new project. For now, as we are just trying to figure things out, let's create a basic 3D project for the PC build. However, we would need to add Android and iOS builds if we want to make mobile apps. Once the project is created, it's time to import the Mapbox package we downloaded previously. Go to Assets, Import Package and select Custom Package. Select the Unity package we downloaded. Now you should have the Import Package window. By default, the package contains Google AR Core, Mapbox AR, AR Interface and AR Kit plugin. If we import all packages, we might run into compile errors, as the platform we've currently set up is PC. So for this example, we'll just be importing the Mapbox and the third party assets. We would be creating more tutorials in future explaining how to create mobile and AR games using Mapbox. Do like this video and subscribe to the channel if that's something you'd be interested in. During the import, you might get warnings to update project source files. We can safely go ahead and update them. After the import, you'll see a window pop up asking for access token. Paste the token you had selected earlier and click submit. Once done, you can now explore the different map prefabs and example scenes to start developing. Like here's an astronaut game where the astronaut reaches to the point you've clicked using the directions API. In this scene, you can check out the various game objects used in the demo. You can access more examples and prefabs under the map box examples folder. This was a quick video on how to get started with map box. You can do a lot of things like tracking players real world location data, provide directions between two points, create and use your own custom style of maps. Comment down below what you would like to see next.